Oops, I should probably take the address information out of here. Where's the marker? One second. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. any better it's weird because it's on Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is fine anyway we've got a big box I actually know what's in here but I figured you guys would be excited to check it out too Kratos V2, no, that's, that's already here. Look at all them props, though. So these are from uh, Ideal Prop. These are the same material as the Dell. I'm all about them by blade action, so they hooked me up for some racing props. And the greatest freestyle props in the world, the ideal 5048. All sorts of them. Holy crap. These are going to last like a week because I'll start being too gen generous and just like throw them away too early. Aw, baby. All in Nurk Green. Oop. Anyway, yep, that's that's what we got here. These are the Ideal Prop 5048. They are my favorite for uh, um, freestyle. Uh, Paul asks um, uh, uh, where I got them. I got these straight from uh, Zeng or whatever his name is. So, yeah, that's what's in the box. I don't have anything else to do or to show you. Maybe some Kratos action. <sighs> Little Kratos V2 sexiness. I'm going to take this. So we've got, uh, let me see if I can zoom it in here. So you can see that the um, screw head is inset there, so it doesn't protrude from the body at all, which is pretty cool. I don't know, it, what I'm worried about with this prototype is that there's not a ton of material right there. So like, it's potential that there could be a break, um, but that will, it feels ridiculously rigid. Like, I don't think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so that's currently my only um, thing that I'm nervous about with it. The uh, cow catcher is still removable um, and is also inset. I'm trying to find. Yeah, there you go. I might have these. I'm probably going to make these, have them make these bigger anyway. Or, because we don't want to make the whole top plate bigger, um, but we can move the screws in just a little bit, and I think that would make it um, a lot more solid. Uh, the camera mount here is, um, you can see that there's multiple holes and stuff in there. So if you put the, if you have the run cam with the two, uh, holes in it, um, you can have one there and then lock it in the back and it will keep the angle perfectly. Um, or you can drop cam it and put it way down here, um, on any of these. Uh, this one is actually for individual arms. Um. So if you look there, you can see, let's see if I can see in there. 
You can see that there's four individual pieces in there. Um, so they join here. And then you can actually see that there's a seam down the middle like this. Uh, and there's also a seam right there. So each um, individual arm is its own uh, bit. Um, but the only problem is that none of them are interchangeable. You have to have a front left, you have to have a front right, etc. Um, because of the nubs here and the um, this part here. So uh, the thing is, so then you can see that the uh, the carbon weave goes the length of the arms and because each arm is individual um, we can cut it that way and so the carbon weave goes straight down the length of the arm making it super super stiff. Um, and this only has one, these only have one screw in the arms right now, and it just, it does not bend at all. Like, I cannot get it to bend. Um, the top plate is now two millimeters thick instead of one, um, and it is chamfered. I don't know how to say that word. You can see that there's like a bevel on the uh, carbon there. That makes it real slick and sexy. It's made out of the TS700 um, carbon weave. You can see that this one, or the rest of the body, is also um, chamfered. I'm not sure why my phone keeps restarting, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, it's pretty awesome. I actually haven't weighed it yet, let me grab it and scale. Give me a sec. So it's 117 grams, which is a bit on the heavy side, especially for a race frame. Um, but it comes with all those cool features. It's much more stretched than the previous version. Swing six inch props. Um, you can top mount battery or bottom mount, bottom mount, um, and everything's replaceable now. So a little bit on the heavy side, but it's almost the same weight as the OG uh, Kratos weight of which doesn't stop anything so yeah there you go we have uh, unboxed those props and checked out the Kratos actually here I got another one to show you too Ugh. yes it'll run six inch props so this is the um, atmospheric adventures uh, Aeolus it's just a really simple unibody frame with a pod um, and this pod is sexy as f. Look at it. I'm not a. Po I don't like pods, but dang, if this thing doesn't look good. <laughs> and to pair it with these uh, green preps, oof, oof. I kind of want to build this one up just to put it on the shelf because it just looks so good. What's this way? I haven't weighed this. 93 grams. So yeah, two new frames. Well, actually, this one's not new. It's pretty old, um, but the the pod looks great. Yeah, this, so this is unibody, but it's not gonna break. I mean, it's just it's made out of the TS 70 or TS 700 um, carbon fiber, like, and it just does not bend. It'll, it, you know, you might be able to break. An arm on it but um, you know it's just that's life when it comes to quads uh, uh, what frame is it it's the atmospheric adventures Aeolus I think you can you can buy this right now um, this is not quite out yet but yeah check it out I might do another mini stream a little bit later um, when I'm working on this if you guys are interested This has been mini stream. I'm glad that you guys are liking these. Um, they're not super popular in terms of 
five viewers, but it seems like people are pretty excited about the mini streams in general, so I guess I'll keep doing them. Um, yeah, keep an eye out on the channel for some pretty, pretty sweet videos in the next uh, couple weeks, so, um, and maybe another mini stream tonight, so thanks everybody for stopping by and stay flying.